Welcome to the Mid-Michigan Business Wrap. Uh, I encourage you to get here today if you can. We're going to speak with Lee Greenwood a little bit later. Our panel will, in fact. And uh, we have some live entertainment for you here today at the uh, Coffee House next door. We're on the Avenue of Michigan right across the street from the baseball stadium in our Gillespie Group storefront studio. That's just a couple blocks from the Capitol. And we have uh, part, well, wow, we have a crowd in the Coffee House today. I can say with uh, complete confidence that the uh, police have estimated the crowd at somewhere under 2,000. Uh, but I'm not sure how far under 2,000. They are smashed in today, and we'll find out why in just a minute. This uh, studio furnished by Corporate Office Interiors. You can go to corporateofficeinteriors.com today and get their design team to come to your place tomorrow. And you can find us at spotlightmm.com if you want to hear the MidMichigan Business Wrap or connect with our panelists or connect to YouTube and see the segments on YouTube and see what the panel looks like. And all of their email contacts are there, so if you want to ask a question to any of them, even if you're just curious about their business or about an idea they had or you want to share an idea, the panel is more than happy to hear from you and answer questions in a casual fashion because we're all in this together. And this is more than a radio show. It's a networking group. It's a group of people who are committed to the mid-Michigan area, and they want to help you. They want to help everybody succeed. We want to see the economy turn around. And uh, it, it all starts with us. President Obama said yesterday the nation has to build back the middle class in that address from the Oval Office. Uh, he declared the end of U.S. combat missions in Iraq, but he said now the nation has to tackle the problems at home with the same determination and the same grit that the U.S. approached the mission in Iraq. And uh, he pointed out that billions of dollars have been spent on the war. Now we gotta get our economy back in order and get people back to work. And maybe we'll talk more about that uh, this morning. Let's meet our panel. Uh, we're at a big round table. It's one of those so-called round table discussions. And uh, we'll start with our left as our panel introduces themselves so you recognize their voice along the way. And feel free to share anything that's at the top of your business mind this morning. George Bowman of Bowman Ford in the magnificent cool city of Portland. And I will not make a comment about what the president said last night. Yeah. <laughs> You'll hold your tongue. Uh, exactly. So it's, it's the better part of valor at this point. Well, uh, let, me, let me try to goad you a little bit further. Uh, <laughs> an economic advisor to President Obama warns that the U.S. cannot afford even a one-year extension of the tax cuts for the rich, is the way the story puts it. A Washington event on how tax policy can impact families, Jason Furman said a proposed short-term extension of the tax cut would put the nation on a road to making it permanent. Republicans want to extend the lower rate for all income classes, and the president and some Democrats support renewing them for everyone except individuals earning more than $200,000 a year or couples making more than $250,000 a year, which I guess is considered rich. Well, I will tell you, um, this used to be what I call a guideline, but it's probably now a rule, okay? And that is, is you take whatever they are saying, like you just yes. explained, and you take it 180 degrees, and that's probably closer to what we should be doing. The opposite direction. Exactly correct. Okay. <laughs> There's advice from George Volman. And next to him? Uh, Peggy Doty with Doty Mechanical. And all of us at Doty have been enjoying this wonderful hot summer, and now we're moving yeah. into a cooler Labor Day weekend. That's what we understand. Perfect timing. Perfect and timing. Flip the switch and move into the heating season. And check your furnace. Yeah. Check you your do furnace. advise that people check ahead of time. Very few. Very few. But, mm -hmm. You know, the biggest, the biggest uh, complaint we get, people forget to turn their thermostat from cooling to heating. Ah. So we try to walk them through that when they call in a panic when we get the first nippy morning. But, yeah. but we're looking forward to it. Peggy Doty with Doty Mechanical Heating and Cooling. And another uh, nice-looking lady right next to her. Well, thank you. Kim Laferrette with Coldwell Banker Hubble Briarwood. And I am just uh, praying for the poor folks over in the path of Hurricane Earl this yeah. weekend. Uh, I, the Labor Day weekend, I know how that affects, uh, you know, tourism and, and all that. Uh, having a place down in the Gulf of Mexico and having been affected by several hurricanes down there uh, with our property down there, it's, it's very disheartening, I guess, when that comes along, but it's part of life. Expensive real estate, for sure. I, I know we throw stats at you a lot, but I'm seeing this morning that national home prices increased 3.6% in 2009 now, according to the latest index. Does that jive with what you're seeing at Colwell Banker, Hubble, Briarwood? It does, and it jives with what we're seeing in the Greater Lansing Association as well. Uh, average home prices have gone from 96000 up to 103000 in the past year in the Greater Lansing area. Hmm. It's still down from the 129, I believe it was, 
in, before we went into the slide, but at least we're headed in the right direction. This study says we're back to prices uh, where they were in the middle of 2003, for whatever that's worth. Uh, in the Lansing area, uh, Teresa Hubble from our company had run some stats, and our prices here in the Lansing area are closer to where they were in 1997. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, sorry, sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, that better good news. <laughs> and in the but they're uh, on the way up. Back to so, the <laughs> and in the third base position. Hi, Jim Trebilcock from Trebilcock and Danik Financial, and I got to tell you, it's always a pleasure to be on the panel with George because all you got to do is throw him a red meat phrase. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> yeah, and you just got to sit back and smile a little bit. He, <laughs> he's a car dealer that tells it like it is, yeah. isn't he? And you've got your partner with you there. Scott Danick, Trebilcock and Danick, and uh, I was catching a little ribbing earlier because people were surprised I didn't have a tie on, and it must have impacted my performance already, because if there's any clients listening out there, I did forget my cell phone today at home, so please call me at the office. <laughs> oh, boy, you are a, you're a mess. No tie and no cell phone and a, and a pink shirt <laughs> ready for action. I guess it's time to go on vacation again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, real men wear pink. That's right. We'll give you a bit of relief here. Now, in our coffee house, Amanda Wall, ladies... Uh, I'm sure you've already noticed Phil Denny is here. Uh, you can find him online at uh, philonsax.com and on Facebook, too, Phil Denny. He's a local saxophone player, and he's available for the Christmas season for parties and functions and special events. How does that work? Yeah, thanks for the plug. Mike. Sure. Um, th this is a season now to book a holiday party, so certainly the calls are starting to come in. Um, so, yes, I'm for hire. You're, he's for hire. <laughs> And uh, you're going to have a, a big concert coming up soon, too, are you not? That's correct. October 23rd, um, I have a group, Too Smooth for Notes, here locally. We're celebrating our 10-year anniversary. So right here in downtown Lansing at the Loft, October 23rd, again, we're celebrating our 10-year anniversary. And all that information, again, is at philonsax.com. Uh, there as well as on Facebook under the group Too Smooth for Notes. Too Smooth for Notes. It's, his name is Phil, so it's philonsax.com because he's playing the saxophone here. And uh, I've, seen, I've seen you at uh, chamber events and lots of business gatherings, too. Maybe you've run into him uh, at some of those events. And so it's, it's, uh, it's quite a, um, a networking tool to have a saxophone like that, huh? Yes, it is. You know, as I mentioned before, part, part of my business strategy is to, to network with those in business because I feel that entertainment is certainly a key element and, um, you know, not only entertaining people, but, um, you know, just for social gatherings and so forth. Amanda, for those on the radio, would you please describe uh, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> How come I always get these kind of... Well, you're standing, you're standing right next to him. You have the best view. He's a very handsome man. I would say much better than Hugh Jackman. Better than Hugh Jackman. Ooh, Similar, though. Similar, because uh, Amanda was, was with Hugh Jackman when he was in town. She chased him down at the hotel and rode the elevator with him. Well, I noticed a few eyes light up. Side of the elevator. Oh, side of the elevator. A few eyes lit up when you said he's available. Then you said for holiday bookings. For so, hire. Yeah. For hire. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. Uh, would you like to play a number for us? I would. Um, I'm just going to do a, a flirting of my new single. It's entitled La Cuquina. And your, uh, what's your previous single? Previous single was Sway Back. Sway Back. And that's on your CD, which I have right here called... Well, sway, sway back. back. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's a good way to do it. I, I've just, I've, I've found it in, in talking with different industry um, uh, professionals that you know releasing single by single is really the way to go right now until you, you really have a full book of, of material and, and investors to back you and a record company to sign you. So the the way music is bought and you know sold in the industry now has changed. So the the single route is really. What, what we found to be the best way to release the music. Mm -hmm. And those are available on iTunes, right? Mm -hmm. um, La Coquina will be on iTunes shortly. Okay. Sway Back is currently on iTunes. Okay, so you will hear the next uh, two and a half minutes, if you would. This is Phil Denny, uh, right ahead of Lee Greenwood, who will join us when we get back. But here he is, philonsax.com, or uh, on the line. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
For Phil Denny, ladies and gentlemen. Phil Denny, philonsax.com. And Cheryl Freeborough, we saw you taking pictures there on your phone. <laughs> Back with more of the uh, Mid Michigan Business Wrap and Lee Greenwood when we continue. <laughs> 